Okay, we have come back to Shrewsbury. I thought this time I'd give it a bit of a run through on the um, the action cam because it's looking a bit soggy today, and you get a bit more of a a wider angled view. historic town this place. We passed Charles Darwin's house on the way in. Last time I popped here I had a look at a few of these buildings and they're absolutely ancient. I mean this one's only 1907 so it's only like uh, 120 years old this one. I've come here really to take photos, but I thought I'd catch a little bit of footage whilst I'm here. So if anything interesting pops up, I'll uh, grab grab a bit of footage. Right out. Shutting down for now. Just spotted the old Royal Insurance Company fire. Uh, I can't see what it says on the other side. Let's have a look. Royal, it says. Fire Royal. Royal Insurance Company. See if I can get any more detail. Try not getting into. Trying to not to get into David Shockley. He's taking a photograph of this place as well. Uh, Royal Life, it says. Fire Royal Life. And these little, little round things up at the top there. Fire Royal Life. And then it's got Royal Insurance Company. So this must have been their head office at some point. In Shrewsbury. Abacan. Which one, sorry, darling? The old building, see it? Like oh, yeah, yeah, there's a few up there. Do you want to go down that way? Or? Yeah, can you go down there? Let's yeah. I think we're going to have a bit, little bit of a walk. camera on a bit of a tilt upwards because the interesting bits seem to be above. I always say that if you look up you always see something interesting in times. It's on the bottom floors it's generally Cafe Nero and what have you, Lloyd's Bank. When you look up you start to see uh, something a little bit more interesting. Have a look there. Okay. Ah yeah, on my previous journey here, I remember this building on the left. One thing that bothered me though, in that last video, I'll try and get across the road in a second. It's pretty tricky here because there's not many roads, so all the cars seem to go down the one that's free. But this building, what bothered me last time was I'd recorded it, but I didn't read out what it said on that plaque. I can kind of see why because you can hardly see it. Erected by Richard Owen, the elder, oh dear lord, 
it looks like the elder gentleman August and it's an awful shame but you can't see the date it's August and it, I think it ends 92 so it could be 1792 I don't think it's 1892 I think it's an older one than that some of these buildings are from the 1500s here The shop, the, the SALOP, Salop Fire Office, 1780. So if that's 1780, take a guess at that being 1792? Or maybe 1692. <laughs> Salop or Salop fire offices. Impressive old building, isn't it? And there's Clive. If you look at my previous uh, video from Shrewsbury, you'll see Clive. So I'm just going to pause it to get some more photos. Right, oh. Yeah, so one thing I did spot just on this building that I can't read the writing on, the building next door's actually got 1709 written on the wall, like the ready orangey brick building in the centre there that says 1709. So that could be 1692. It's got some what look like king's heads hanging from the pointed bit on the roof. And then model what look what look like soldiers or there's a there's a knight for sure with a large shield really interesting building We're going to head that way in a sec, so I'll pause here. I'm trying not to get into uh, David's shots, you see. But I want to get over here and have a look at this building. Now this one... I think... I think that says 1596. So whatever you want. I don't know. The 15th day of IVNE was this building begun. William Ions and Thomas Charlton. Ghent, the and then the bailiffs, and was erected and covered in their time, 1596. 1596. So that's getting on a bit. Don't have a nose. Fifteen ninety six. It's getting on that, isn't it? Oh, here we go. There's a bit of info. If this will pick it up, the camera probably will. Market Hall, built by the town of Shrewsbury in fifteen ninety five to fifteen ninety six. Ground floor was used as a corn market. The upper room was used by the Shrewsbury drapers for purchase of the woolen cloths. Brought on ponies from North Wales. Oh. Got a working clock on here. And a couple of gargoyles guarding the place. It looks like an old entry there, doesn't it? Well, 
of that. This is the other side. There's a lady doing a tour across the way. Every time I've come here, to be honest, there's been a tour guide. So they must be a, a regular thing here. Normal place though, isn't it? <laughs> David's getting a photo of the uh, the doorway. It is quite impressive to that goldsmith. I haven't got a great deal of film on this. I've only got a 32 gig card in, and it'll chomp through that because I'm filming at 4K. Well, I just thought I'd capture a couple of bits in a wider angle than last time. Look at that thing there. That'd be enough to scare me off. <laughs> and this is a museum and art gallery really grand impressive looking building but then it's got a I can only describe it as an estate agent in the window <laughs> maybe they're a sponsor or something sold 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 they're all they're all mansions oh here we go guide price let's look for a cheap one there we go U tree cottage that's only 1.25 million pounds I'd rather have Brooklyn Villa then, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? And the coach house is lovely for, to snip that, 375 grand. It's nice houses. Right, let's close down, get some snaps. Right, so that old market hall is just down that passageway there. This bit here leads to an old church and this church was um, destroyed. I think it was a fire, but it, we're talking 500 years ago, you know. It's got a roof on it now to protect what's left. Um, but I'm not gonna go around there because the other Shrewsbury video I did, which is lurking amongst the videos, pretty much covers there anyway. But uh, this is the Golden Cross pub. Sort of touched on this last time I come here. Just very briefly, because it's got a blue plaque. And this was an alehouse for 500 years. And the Royalists um, were, used to meet here until they were captured by the, the Roundheads basically in 1645. So. This pub here has been here for quite some time. Not sure if you can see inside very well, but I'll try. It's not lit up in there at the moment, so you probably just see me, but you never know. Main course is just as an idea. Confit, duck on artichoke, puree, tartlet, pan juices, cassis compote, 1895. The Golden Cross. Rowley's Fudge Pantry. That's a place I've got to avoid. Sugar, sugar, sugar.
That chap just went past said he had a burger and it was fantastic. Maybe we can colour him and find out where he was. <laughs> <laughs> There's a proper, proper old shop, a proper old tailors. I do tend to take about 10 minutes to remember words half the time, but I'm getting better. Heck of a lot better than I was last, six months ago. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh yeah, I think they're chopping it up more than making it, but yeah. Yeah, well, they do make it by hand, don't they? Yeah. See it made. Two for fourteen pounds at the old post office. Two what for fourteen pounds? <laughs> They've got two for fourteen now, though. No idea what you get, like Saint Jules. Now we're heading towards the old post office, two for fourteen pounds. We've been in the old post office. Is it? George. George Royal, yeah. That's uh, that's be that's after Victoria and before Elizabeth, isn't it? Nineteen thirties, twenties, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice dinner, wasn't it? It's all right. Huh? They do sandwiches and they do soups. And a variety of meals.
wrong, I can't recall to be honest, but maybe last time we might not have come down this street. Well, then again, we may have done, so I'm not sure. Look at that. It's an old Singer sewing machine in there. Oh, no, hold on. Do you know what? We may have come down here. Only reason being, that furniture looks familiar. It looks like something that's escaped from a 60s movie. Need to tilt this camera back a little because it's quite keen on recording the pavement. Fine art, ceramics and sculpture. Having a bit of a jubilee. Thinking about it, I think we did come down here. Because there's a pub, if I recall correctly, down here, and it's uh, where there's some sort of plan done. For the Roundheads or the Cavaliers, or possibly even older. I'm sure, there was something down this road somewhere. And I remember that Lion Hotel as well. Henry Tudor House. Hmm. I think that is the place I'm thinking of. So it's not a pub. My memory's so awful. I think that's a. That says.